In this example, we are asked to factor completely, and we are given a trinomial polynomial expression, 2x squared minus 2xy minus 40y squared. Now, anytime we're factoring a polynomial expression, the very first thing that we want to do is check for a greatest common factor. So when we look at each term in this polynomial expression, we realize that they have a greatest common factor of two, which we pull to the front. So notice within the parentheses, we are left with a quadratic trinomial whose leading coefficient is one. So now we want to take some time and factor this quadratic trinomial. So looking at our quadratic trinomial and thinking about the technique for factoring quadratic trinomials of this form, we can observe that we're looking for two numbers whose product is going to produce this constant term minus 20y squared. And those two same numbers, when we add them together, must be equal to minus y. So to help us find two such numbers, we begin by listing the factors of the constant term minus y squared, minus 20y squared. So notice the terminology or the symbols used here with the factors of 20. Since, or excuse me, with the factors of minus 20y squared. Since this is a negative, but the and the sum is also negative, we know that one factor must be positive and one must be negative. So in this first set, while it looks like we're listing one product or one set of factors, we actually have two distinct sets of factors here. Notice how when 4y is positive, we have a corresponding negative 5y. And when 4y is negative, then the corresponding factor 5y is going to be positive. And this holds true for each of these cases. So we actually have six distinct sets of factors here that we need to check. So this is a strategy game, right? Sometimes we get lucky and we pick the right factors right away. Sometimes it takes us all the way to the end. So don't give up, just always check your work. So we'll go in descending order here and we'll start with our first group of factors. So we've listed the two binomial products for this combination of factors. And to determine which one is going to produce the quadratic trinomial we're looking for, we simply multiply these out. And lucky us, we found the correct combination on our first attempt. So we can cross out this second case and our other factors. Again, I want to emphasize we won't always be this lucky. Sometimes we have to go through a couple of different cases before we find the right combination. But as long as you're multiplying your terms out, you'll eventually find the correct combination and you'll become faster at factoring over time. So now that we have confirmed the factoring formula for our quadratic trinomial, we can write our final answer. 